Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, Into Tomorrow viewers. I'm Dave Graveline. Thanks for joining us for our weekly ITTV report. We're just back from San Francisco, California, where we attended the Consumer Electronics Association's Industry Forum. We learned about what you'll be buying this holiday season. Have you started your holiday shopping yet? What tech items are on the top of your wish list? Let us know in the comments section, or of course you can listen to our radio interviews from the Industry Forum as well at intotomorrow.com. Look for the broadcast for the weekend of October 19th. Eton Corporation makes some really fun and helpful products, including several that are solar powered. Rob's been playing with some of their most recent products that in addition to providing entertainment, can help keep your devices charged. Check it out. Thanks Dave. Many of us enjoy listening to our tunes on the go and conveniently from our smartphones or tablets. Well to help us do that, Eton Corporation has some fun new products we've been enjoying. The first product is the Ruckus Bluetooth Solar Wireless Speaker. This is a stereo speaker that you can pair with your smartphone, tablet, or laptop, and it's versatile. You can lay it flat or upright. It's also very lightweight and has an e-ink display, which gives you great visibility outdoors in the sun and uses minimal power. While it has a solar panel that can keep this unit charged while you use it outdoors, Eton also has considered the indoor environment. It has a rechargeable battery you can charge with an AC adapter. It takes about six hours for the Ruckus to be charged outside in the sun, or four hours using AC-DC power. In addition to playing music wirelessly, the Ruckus can also play your music by connecting your device using the aux input on the back. And you can keep your USB compatible devices charged by keeping the USB cord plugged into the Ruckus. The Ruckus can also hold your device with this pocket in the back. The sound quality is very good for small rooms like your kitchen, bedroom, or office. I moonlight as a Zumba instructor in the evenings and weekends, and I tried using it to play my music during my classes. However, the sound wasn't loud enough for that environment, even with the bass boost option. Other than that, we're very happy with the Ruckus. It retails under $150 and also comes in black or white. It's a great product to take to the beach. We're based in Miami, Florida, and still have at least another month left of hurricane season. Eton has a turbine AM FM weather alert radio that can be helpful during any major storms. It's called the FRX3. This radio has a solar panel on the top side for solar power, has a rechargeable battery that can be charged with a USB cable, or you can use three AAA batteries, or you can keep it plugged into DC power, or you can, as Dave says, get cranky and turn the hand turbine for power. And yes, it also charges your smartphone. Just plug in its corresponding USB cable. The FRX3 also serves as a clock and alarm clock, and it has an LED flashlight on the side. Oh, and it also has an aux input. This small unit is packed with some cool and useful tech. We found it online for only 60 bucks. These are just some of the cool new toys we're currently testing at our Into Tomorrow Evaluation Labs. We'll have some more new stuff for you in upcoming video reports as we're approaching the holiday shopping season to give you plenty of ideas. Thanks for watching, here's Dave. Thank you, Rob. That Ruckus is a fun product. Great color, too. Good to see Eton also thinks about keeping our devices charged. What do you guys think about these products? Anxious to own some? Share your opinions in the comments section. You can also call us toll-free via the Ask Dave hotline 1-800-899-INTO. That's 1-800-899-4686. Skype into us if you'd like anytime, 24-7. Of course, you can also use our free Into Tomorrow app on your mobile device. And we prefer that. So will you. Check it out. Our weekly ITTV updates are brought to you in part by NewEggBusiness.com. Do you have a small business with IT needs? Visit NewEggBusiness.com for their everyday solutions and deals on business electronics and office must-haves. IT is simple at NewEggBusiness.com, where once you know, you knew it. It's time to travel back into yesterday with our in-house tech historian, Chris Graveline. This week, he takes us back to the first time the city of London received over-the-air TV. 
This week in 1920, KDKA of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania began broadcasting as the first commercial radio station. The station aired the returns of the Harding-Cox presidential election, the first radio programming to reach an audience of any size, approximately a thousand people. In 1925, television was beamed to London for the first time. If you put everything into it except the kitchen sink, you'd have the transmitter that was used. To build the transmitter, John Baird used a tea chest, a biscuit box, darning needles, piano wire, motorcycle lamp lenses, old electric motors, cardboard scanning discs, and glue, string, and sealing wax. And this week in 1969, the first ever computer-to-computer -computer link was established on ARPANET, the precursor to the internet. In 1987, in Japan, NEC released the first 16-bit fourth-generation video game console, the PC Engine, which was later sold in other markets under the name TurboGrafx-16. And this week in 1998, ATSC HDTV Broadcasting in the U.S. was inaugurated with the launch of STS-95 Space Shuttle Mission from NASA. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA, the International Funkausstellung in Berlin, the global trade show for consumer electronics that's rich in its own history. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Thank you, Chris. We invite you to get social with us online. Be sure to follow our newest Twitter page, at IT Radio Show. You'll get tips from other listeners, links to our weekly radio show notes, frequent giveaways, and lots more. And please feel free to retweet us often. We know when you do, and we'd like to send prizes out to many of you retweeters. Also, we love it when you like us on Facebook, fb.com slash intotomorrow. Only takes two seconds to hit that like button. Well, that wraps it up for this edition of our ITTV web show. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Graveline. Hope to see you again real soon. It's hot in here, I'm cranky, I wanna get this done, let's go.